Well, hello everybody. It's Becca here with Becca's Easy Recipes. And today I am going to be making a um, jalapeno popper stuffed chicken breast that is wrapped in prosciutto. That's gonna be what we're having for dinner tonight. Yeah, so let's get started. Okay, first I'm going to wash my jalapenos. Um, and then I'm going to chop them up. And I do not know how hot these are going to be. So I'm just going to use two. One I'm going to mix in with our uh, cream cheese mixture. And then the other one I'm just going to use um, as a uh, slice them and little rings to put on top of the chicken. So, let's get you started on the prep. Okay, now, so I'm gonna cut my ends off. I'm gonna leave the seeds in there because I want it to have a little kick. And then I'm going to make some fried potatoes as a side dish. And just so you know, I got a little helper here, Miss Shy. Say hi, Shy. <laughs> this is my girl right here. <laughs> She's a handful, I tell you. She is a very happy Chihuahua. She's the only Chihuahua I know of that doesn't bark. <laughs> oh, I forgot I was going to leave one of them and slice some. Okay, well, I'm just going to sprinkle it on top then, okay? <laughs> Sometimes my hands take over before my brain does, y'all. It's all right, it happens. Now this one smells a little toasty. So, <clears throat> hopefully, it's not gonna be a butthole burner. <laughs> okay. So I got those chopped. I'm gonna rinse my hands. Now I did let my uh, cream cheese sit out for a little bit to soften up, get to room temperature. Cause I want to um, be able to mix it fairly easy. If you just take it out of the fridge, sometimes it's a little uh, harder to mix when it's cold but if you don't have time to wait you can just pop it in the microwave for a couple of seconds and it'll soften that up too Now, I did get this recipe off of Google, um, and I wanted to try it out, see how good it would be. Because I've heard a few things, you know, a few good things about it, so we're going to give it a shot and see what all the, the rave is about. Okay. You see, I got my cream cheese. I don't know if y'all can see or not, it's kind of dark. Um, and I got my jalapenos in there. Now I'm gonna grade a little bit of cheddar cheese. I'm gonna grate it right into the bowl. And you know, just enough to 
uh, just grate enough that you think will be good or if you like a lot of cheese you can grate a lot you know totally up to you y'all know I was probably a, a rat in my past life so because I love cheese on everything I think that's going to be good right there. Got to get it all out of there. You don't want to waste any. Okay. See? It's probably about half a cup. Now, I'm going to mix it all up. And guys, this is super simple. You ain't going to do a whole bunch of work. Just do your chopping, you know, prep work. And I'm going to add some salt and pepper to this. And I have some bacon bits that I'm going to add as well. Now you can make your own bacon bits, you know, you can fry up your own, chop it up. Or you can go to the grocery store and buy the uh, fully cooked bacon and it still looks fresh, you know. Smells so good. Okay, and add some salt. pepper now continue mixing And I am just using two chicken breasts. Um, you can uh, add more if you want to. But tonight is just my husband and I, so I'm just making enough for two people. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's, it will be enough. <laughs> Like I said, I don't normally cook for just two people. I don't know how to do that. My family's huge, so I'm used to making a lot. Okay, I think this is nice and mixed. There you go, isn't that a beauty? Okay, now I'm gonna get my um, baking dish here and I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees I got some gloves here just because I don't like touching touch uh, raw chicken well, any raw meat, really. <laughs> I don't like the way it feels on my hands. Okay, so, move you right here. Cut open my chicken box, or whatever you call it, package. And we'll put them right in there. These are two little fatties. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna hassle back them, which means I'm gonna cut them into little strips, not all the way 
through to the bottom, but um, just about halfway through. There's one, you see. Here's the other one. God, this is going to be so good. Because, I mean, you can't go wrong with chicken and jalapenos and cheese and bacon. You just can't. open but not all the way through that's how you want to do it now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna stuff each one of these little slices here with uh, with my mixture I'm gonna use a butter knife I'm gonna stick it right in that slit there You want to spread it evenly, like so. These are going to be some fat little sucker. <laughs> and just like that. See, it looks good already. Man, I might have to turn it sideways so I'll have enough room. Yeah, that'll work. My babe's gonna love these. <laughs> He's in the background tiptoeing. <laughs> So silly. You want to get them all nice and stuffed. Because you know some of it's probably going to leak out when it's cooking. Last little slit here. Get that puppy nice and fat. And like I had enough cream cheese and stuff for probably another two or three of these. Okay, let's see. Can I put some more in there? Sure, why not? I don't want to use it all. I don't want to waste any. And you know, I saw this on Google, but I'm kind of making it my own because I'm adding the prosciutto to it. Um, 
and the one I saw, uh, you actually slice the chicken down the middle, I mean down the side, and you butterfly it, and then you uh, stuff it with your filling, and uh, it didn't call to wrap it, but I wanted to wrap it. Just because I love me some prosciutto. So, we're just going to get her all up in there. Fill her up. Alright, so, one little piece left. There we go. She's empty. Now, I'm going to switch gloves because these are all sticky. And I'm going to wrap them. Okay, I'm going to finish sprinkling the rest of the jalapenos on top of here. Beautiful. Now I've got my prosciutto. I'm going to take it off layer by layer. Hopefully, it stays together. I'm going to do it like this. You can use bacon if you don't want to use prosciutto. Prosciutto is kind of expensive. But I just love the flavor of prosciutto. So that's why I'm using it. Miss Shy is down here waiting for me to drop something. But I'm not going to. Okay, let's see. I need to pick this up here. And I'm going to overlap it. Just like so. Let's see, how am I going to do this? I guess I could do it like that. And that. I'm going to pick it up. And wrap it underneath. Kind of seal it, you know. Let's see, I've got two pieces here. May as well use them on. This one chicken. You want to go ahead and overlap it like that? And I'm going to cut this or tear it. And I'm going to put one on one end and the other one on the other. You see, just like that. And this one. Look at there. 
like a glove. Okay, now I'm gonna open this other one. And do the other chicken. Okay, now for this next one. If I can get it to separate for me. Well, that's why it wouldn't work, it was folded. No shine. Okay. Just like that. Guys, this other package of prosciutto is giving me terrors. It doesn't want to play nice with me. And that is rude. <laughs> You see, it keeps tearing on me. Now I'm getting it. Really. I'll tell you, look, this is what it wants to do to me. I hate that. I just want it to work. Really, guys, it's really not this difficult. But for some reason, this little fella here wants to give me some issues. I'm gonna get it, I tell you. I'm gonna get it. Well, that's gonna have to do for now. Right, guys? This little thing wants to bite me. <laughs> it's all right, I'm gonna eat him up. Okay, I get these little hair pieces, just stick them on there somewhere. 
Okay. Ta-da! Hojo Bank. Not the prettiest, but it works. Okay, so now I'm going to pop these in the oven for about 30 minutes or until your chicken is no longer pink. And then while that is cooking, I'm going to get my potatoes prepared for fried potatoes. Okay, now I have just peeled my potatoes. I'm gonna go wash them right quick. And then I'm gonna chop them up. And I'm only doing three, because like I said, there's only two of us. So, I'm going to chop them kind of small. <clears throat> and I'm going to uh, cut up a little bit of onion and make fried onion and potatoes. Yummy! Ain't nothing better than that, y'all. And I'm doing them small just because that's how we prefer them. Kind of small, you know. You can do them however you want to. You can do them sliced. You can uh, cut them round. However you prefer them. And guys, I just had a tooth extracted a couple of days ago. So... It's taken me a little bit to eat stuff. Y'all know how it is if you've ever had a tooth pulled. It's not fun. But it feels way better afterwards. So, I'm willing to sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? And today is my little baby grandson's birthday. He's the big two. And we're going to get to go see him tomorrow out in West Texas. So, I'm pretty excited to go celebrate him. Y'all, I'm pretty excited to try this uh, chicken. I just hope it doesn't turn out dry, but the prosciutto will hopefully help keep it moist. I don't know what happened on my last video. Part of the sound went out. I don't know why it does that. So, please forgive me for that one. Hopefully, it doesn't do that to this video. Because I want y'all to, to hear all the good stuff. See? That's enough potatoes for two people, wouldn't you say? I agree. So, let me go get an onion and get that chopped up. And I'll be right back. Okay, this is a, a yellow sweet onion. So I'm gonna only use probably a quarter of it. And I'll save the rest and put it in the refrigerator. Cut off the ends here. And they say if you put a wet paper towel next to an onion while you're cutting it, that you won't cry. I don't know how true that is. Because they say that the, uh, 
the juices or whatever from the onion are attracted to moisture. So, I guess I could wet one right quick and try it out, right? So, let me do that. Hold on one second. Here is my wet paper towel. I'm gonna put it right here. Let me cut this little piece off. And hopefully, I won't be in tears. You know, there's been so many, uh, remedies for how to not cry while you're cutting onion. So far, so good. No tears yet. Okay, let me wash my hands. And ta-da, no tears. So I guess the wet paper towel next to your onion while you're cutting it works. Or it seemed to this time, so, you know. You could try it out for yourself and see how it does. But now we are going to start our papas. Get those frying up. Mmm. So excited. Okay. Now, here's my pan. I'm going to turn my burner on or my stove top on to five. That's what I normally put it on. And I'm gonna add a little bit of Earl. This is Crisco. You can add uh, olive oil or whatever kind of oil you got, or you can add butter. I'm gonna let this warm up for just a second. Okay, I'm gonna put my potatoes in there and my onion. And you wanna do it away from me so you don't get splashed by the hot oil. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my onion. I want them to be nice and translucent. And I want the potatoes to um, take in all the onion flavor. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's get this going. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. And you can add, you know, garlic powder or ranch powder you know if you want to flavor your potatoes up a little bit more all right i'm just going to use salt and pepper just like i did on my chicken and then there was 
was late. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. You know, I needed some light here. But look how pretty that looks. Now I'm gonna let this sit for just a minute and let it kind of brown up some. Who doesn't love a good fried potato with onions? Now it's starting to roar. Yeah. I'm talking about. Thanks for watching my show, guys. Man, this smells good. probably got another uh, 15 minutes or so on the chicken but I'm gonna check it here in a minute just to see what it looks like Hold on guys, somebody's at the door. Look at this little beauty. Mm -hmm. It's getting there guys, it's getting there. But I just love how the black pepper gives it a little bit of color, you know? And then each potato has a little speck on it. It's almost time to check the chicken. And I have to say, y'all, here in Texas, it's hotter than well digger's butt. <laughs> I am sweating. I'm not sweating in the food, though, so don't worry. I ain't sweating that much. more minutes and we'll check the chicken. Super excited about this y'all. I hope it turns out good. It's starting to turn brown guys. Yay! That means chicken You see? You see? Mm. Okay now I'm going to pull the chicken out and we're going to check it. Hopefully it's not. If not, we'll cook, cook it a little bit longer. Ooh wee! Look at this, y'all. It is hot. Okay, I'm gonna bring y'all on this side so y'all can see what we got working here. Are y'all ready for the reveal? Let's check it. I don't even know where to check it. Looks done to me. We're pretty close. They are kind of fat, so I'm gonna put it in there another five minutes. I'm gonna say by the time the potatoes are done, the chicken will be done. Look at that. And you know what's really good, y'all? 
you fry your potatoes up like this, you can sprinkle a little bit of uh, minced garlic and the juice on there. Mmm, it is so good. I do it, but I'm out at the moment. So, we're just going to eat it just like this. Okay, I think these are done. But I'm still going to give my chicken five more minutes. So, turn the heat off on that. I'm going to turn the heat off in my oven. And let the heat just kind of cook it, you know what I'm saying? Okay. In five minutes, let's take her out. My juices are clear. Mmm, mmm. That looks gorgeous. So, I am going to take a piece off and we're going to do a little taste test. I'm so excited and I'm excited. boo-boo in my mouth so gonna, it's gonna be a slow bite <laughs> this little beauty tastes like because it sure looks pretty bon appetit y'all remember it's gonna be hot because i just took it out of the oven That's freaking delicious. Mmm. Got such good flavor. And that prosciutto, man. That prosciutto flavored that chicken like you would not believe. Oh my gosh. This is freaking beautiful. So. Y'all have to try this for real. I'm going to show you one more time picture of this here beautiful beautiful prosciutto wrapped jalapeno popper stuffed chicken it is out of this world so now i'm gonna make us a plate and we're gonna sit down and have dinner together but i want y'all to know that you're smart you're beautiful and you're everything god made you to be don't let anybody tell you any different. And I want you to know that I love you. I really do. I love you with all my heart. Y'all are my favorite. So, until next time. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends. Yeah. And we're going to have fun together, okay? I love you guys. See y'all next week. Bye. Peace out.